in this part we will allow the user to link the other authentication providers to the basic authentication provider he, or he has used before so we will start from start the activity xml file and add the layouts here we have main scroll view inside a linear layout the linear layout contains two layouts for one for facebook authentication so when the user click on facebook lo uh, login button he can link his facebook account to the other provider also if the user registered to buy facebook he will see the layout for email and the password authentication also he can link the email of the current authentication provider so when the user click on this checkbox the email address field is disabled and the user can add password and link the account of the current email so when the user successfully logged in at first time he will see one of the two layouts if the user registered by email and password and login he will see the facebook only facebook login button only else if he registered by facebook at first he will see the email and the password layout here so i have added id for the linear layout that contains the login button and i have added also id for the layout that contains the text fields and button for linking email password authentication next and start the activity java file we need to add the objects of the linear layout and frame layout the text view for basic email checkbox and email and the password material edit text facebook login button and callback manager and button to link the email password authentication provider next we need to initiate these objects in onCreate method and the basic email will be set for the current user of current authentication provider and the basic email text view will be set to the email address of current user provider next we need to set permissions for facebook login button next we need to loop through the provider data of the current user and if the current user has registered by facebook he will see the email layout and the login button facebook layout will disappear else if the user has registered by email and the password provider the email and email layout will disappear and the layout of login button or facebook login button will appear next we need to set checkbox on check change listener and if the user checked the box the email edit text will be disabled and the text in it will be removed else the email edit text will be enabled so the user can add another email address to link it next we need to set the on click listener of link email account button and this step is dependent on the checkbox and if the checkbox is checked it will cast the text of basic email text view else it will cast the text of email edit text and the password fixed for two states so we need to create a new method that link email and the password account and make it in start activity in this method we will link the email to email provider to facebook provider sorry password
in this method we need to create object of the current user and also we need to create credentials for the email provider using the custom string of email and the password then we need to link the current user using the created credentials and if the task is successful we need to create new object for the new user and we need to create two database references the first for user for the current user and here we need to update the provider ID name and the second for the data of the linked user we need to add email and linked user ID and if task is successful alert dialog will show for the user told him tell him that linked account successfully tell him that account has linked successfully and if there is exception the exception will be added to the alert dialog next we need to create callback manager object and in on create method we need to register the callback for facebook login button then we need to register the callback for facebook login button and we need to use graph request to get email for the registered user provider and to fetch the sign in method with this email and if the sign in method for this email is empty we need to handle facebook token so we need to create this method in this method we also need to create new user sorry we need to create object for the current user then we need to create authentication credentials of facebook providers using the token of the cassette access token then we need to link the current user with the new credentials using the created credentials and if the task is successful we need to repeat the same steps of the email linking method next we need to check the on activity result method we need to add the callback manager here we need to cast the three parameters here and let's run our app there is an error there is error here okay i forget to add find view by id for the linear layout email frame layout and facebook linear layout so we need to add the objects here and let's try again okay as shown here i have registered by facebook account and here the layout that 
appears to me is the email and password authentication layout to link the email and the password authentication to the Facebook account. And here the email address the of the current Facebook account. I can check it, use it to link it by password. And here I can't edit the email address, but I can edit the password. So let's try linking by this method and delete the account and register again by another account. There is exception. This error requires to log out and log in again. So we need to log out and then log in again. and click the checkbox and add password but at first we need to set the rules for the new reference of the linked users so here we need to create new rules so we need to create this line Here we need to change the reference name. And in this state we need to change the variable of the linked user ID. and click publish and let's try to link account account link it successfully and when you return to the notification we will find the account link it successfully and only to see the database we'll, we will see the user's reference the basic account which is registered by Facebook and password and the Google provider is still default and users this is the user ID for the linked account and the email of the linked user and user ID thank you and I hope my video adds value to you and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe my video. Thank you again.